Hi, I'm Brandis Davis with the City of San Antonio's Human Resources Department, and this is Job of the Week. Today I'm here with my friend Rita. Hi, Hi Rita. <laughs> she's a member of the City of San Antonio's recruitment team, and she's here to talk to us about a job. What job are we talking about today, Rita? Today we're talking about the custodial maintenance crew leader with Building Equipment Services. Oh, okay, a custodial maintenance crew leader position. I would imagine that you'll be leading some people and of course working on maintenance and custodial work here at the city? That's correct. They're actually responsible for overseeing all custodial activities with Building Equipment Services. Oh, well, that sounds like a very big and very important job. Tell us a little bit more. Well, the ideal candidate would be able to mm -hmm. supervise uh, custodial crews. They will be responsible for overseeing multiple facilities, as well as developing their work schedules, um, also using safety practices, as well as working mm -hmm. alongside their custodial crews. Oh yeah, well that's a lot of, that is a lot that they're responsible for and of course safety first. Yes. We want to make sure that we have safe practices and good and well maintained facilities. That's correct. Oh, okay, um, so can you talk to us a little bit about the Building and Equipment Services Department? Well, Building Equipment Services, their main responsibility is for the operation and maintenance of city buildings mm -hmm. as well as all custodial services. Okay, and I know that this position also includes the city's fabulous benefits package, um, and I know that that's a big selling point. So can you tell our viewers a little bit about that? Yes, um, benefits include medical, <laughs> dental, vision, mm -hmm. life insurance, retirement plan. We do have paid time off as well as an employee health and wellness program, a family wellness leave, and an employee assistance program and many more. Oh, yes. And I can definitely attest as a city employee that our benefits package is awesome. I mean, I know I'm a little biased, but it's pretty cool. Yes. Now, I also heard that with this position, there's the possibility of a couple of different shifts depending on... Yes, there are actually two shifts based okay. on operational need. The first one would be 7 a.m. to 3.45 p.m. The second mm -hmm. one would be 4 p.m. to 12.30 a.m. And it's Monday through Friday. Okay, so depending on what the department needs, the person selected for this position might find themselves working um, one of the two shifts. That's correct. Oh, okay. Is there anything else you'd like to share with our viewers about this position? Um, basically, if you're interested, to, you're welcome to apply at sanantonio.gov. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Well, thank you so much, Rita. You're welcome. In addition to what Rita shared with you about the position, um, the ideal candidate, of course, will also need to have a valid Class C driver's license, a high school diploma or GED, and of course, at least two years of experience in maintenance or custodial work. So, if you're interested in joining our team, then like Rita said, I encourage you to go onto our website at www.sanantonio.gov forward slash careers. Also, if you like this video, then I encourage you to click that thumbs up button, comment down below, and subscribe. See you next week.